Listen, um, where does one start? Oh, you there. There's AG right there. Okay, all right. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Hi. That's what's up. What up, AG? This is my man, AG, from the Disturbingly Random Podcast. Um, We got Tony here, Nathan, from Mel's Cafe, and we're waiting for Mel herself to join us. She's probably stirring up a pot. Um, this is okay. we, we about to do some real cross, some some, some cross pollination of podcasts here. Let's see what we go. Right, let's this. do it. I'm ready. Um, but um, we were we were just talking about we happen to be talking about Kevin Samuels because we get a kick out of the stuff that he's saying, how he approached things, and Tony said that her and Mel mm-hmm. was talking about Kevin Samuels as well. So Tony, tell us tell yeah. us what you was tell us exactly where you was coming from with it. Okay, I don't even know where to begin. It's, there's so many different angles. So my, let's. I only know. I've only heard about him this week because I was listening to a podcast on Saturday, and they mentioned him. And so you know, I'm like, all right, the way he approaches it, fine. If people want to listen to him, fine. That's great. My first question is, um, what makes him a relationship guru? What's his credential? Um, well, well I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask you, so what would make anybody a relationship guru? Okay, so take? for me, yeah, so for Good me, question. that was it, right? We had this conversation. So for me, I don't know what makes a relationship guru, but I'll give you an example. Dr. Ruth would be a sex guru. She's someone I'm going to listen to. She's been talking about because, this for 50 years. She gets into because she had, back but, because she, studying. Because, well, well, then I think that you're a sex guru, too, then, because I think that you've had sex before. Yes, no. I don't know. See, not guru. Not guru. So, so you saying, so you saying, Doctor Ruth had more sex than you? Is what you saying? No, but I didn't study all the different aspects of sexuality for men and women to be able to describe what's happening or how to get let's be honest. from one point or the other. Well, let's be honest. Do you really think that Doctor Ruth and anything is really putting it down? And anything, or she was putting it down at all at some point in her life? No, but she has credentials, okay? It's fine if you're an opinionated person, but what are his credentials, okay? His credentials, he's an engineer. Why did he go from becoming an engineer to an image consultant? For me, I would need to see your relationship. Well, maybe maybe because he know how to make maybe because he know how to make people look good. Ain't that all yes. it takes to be an image consultant? Yes, it does. All right, so I'm listening. Make, he knows how to he knows how to change images, right? All yeah, right. so he's an image consultant. So, so now you want to talk about relationships. So if you're going to talk okay, about relationships, so, how come I don't know anything about your relationship? At least oh, wow. if I know about your relationship, then I know whether or not you actually had relationships. All right, so see, so so, but but we but we never heard about Dr. Ruth talk about how she was putting it down in the bedroom either. No, because she was actually she actually studied it like as education stream. Usually, when you well, study what? something as an education stream, you can say you're an expert or that you're you, you have knowledge in that area. So as long as they right, got but, that piece of paper, as long as that piece of paper with black writing and anything on it says that you did it, then you did it. That's one stream. Mm-hmm. The other stream I'm saying is okay, fine. You don't have that, but you have relationships, but you keep that private. So I don't know if those were successful. I don't know if these are high earning relationships, like you're the high earner and you have these women that you were trying to get them to aspire to. It's like I don't know what that basis is because I have I have no idea what your credentials are. Okay. Hey Tony, personally- can I ask you a question? Not that. We need to hear this. Okay. All right, go, all right. go ahead, AG. I'll see you Oh, okay. Tony. No, go ahead, AG. Um, go ahead, AG. Okay. How did, Tony, how did you learn yeah. about relationships? Uh, like, how did, like how, how did you learn? Because I'm, I'm guessing you had more than one, right? That's correct. So, talking okay. to did... my, my older sibling, uh, trial and error. Okay. Uh, watching my parents. Okay. okay. I mean, so you, do you feel that you got a good grasp on like what a good relationship consists of and what a bad relationship a bad relationship consists of? Like, would you be able to tell 
the, you know, the difference between the good and bad in that aspect? Sure. All right. So if if you learn from talking to other people, you know, people in your family and trial and error, why can't and and you know we acknowledge we, we we acknowledge your experience in that area. Why can't we acknowledge Kevin Samuel's experience from what he's doing from? Vocal. No, well, pretty much. I don't have a problem acknowledging his experience, but he does not share his experience. So I don't know if he's been in one relation, if he's been in ten relationships, if he's basing it on his personal relationships, if he's basing it on anything else, right? Because I have been in relationships does not make me a relationship guru. And what I consider to be a, a, a healthy relationship is not necessarily something that is standard. So my definition might not meet your definition. Fair well, I, I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think that it takes. I don't think that it takes speaking about your own to be a guru, though. Because not once did mm-hmm. I ever go to the doctors and they say like, "Hey, I was sick last week. Let me treat you now." No, but the doc. Okay, but the point being, the doctor actually studied. Okay, so maybe he studied relationships. Maybe he studied. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. That's what, that's just one of the points. But you know. see, but here's the thing. You say, hey, Mel, Mel, are you there, Mel? She still seems to be connecting on my side. Oh, wow, yeah. Oh, wow. She, uh, hey, but here, here's the thing. It's like, I think that, um, I think that, uh, like, like women, they get a little scared of him and anything, and they start trying to find reasons and ways to discredit him and anything because they're scared that what he's saying might apply to them. Um, and I noticed that. I seen like, like I, I think that he's pretty much, at this point right now, it's just for entertainment because he's covered the whole gamut of every relationship or every type of situation that a female might be in or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I don't think that females like it. I don't think it's like calling them out. So I think that they get kind of scared and they think that, yo, you know what? It might get a little bit more specific to the point where it's just shy of saying their name. And I think that's what's giving, really? getting scary. And, I, and I'm starting to see that a lot of guys, a lot of guys are getting scared, too, because he putting guys on the spot, too, because it's really it's really drawing all like the dudes out who try to act like they high value men and they really not. And they trying you know what I'm saying you got a lot, a lot of a, a lot of low value men, so to speak, and anything out there who are um, who actually got chicks moving, moving and anything as if they are high value men. You know what I mean? And they ain't really got no... I'm going I'm to I'm I'm be cut and dry. You got a lot of guys out there and anything who really shouldn't even be having access to sex because they ain't got their shit together. <laughs> okay, so I'm that's a, a very good... That's a, that's a very good point, but that's, that, was, that was one of the things we were discussing because he's an image consultant, so he is, in the, he is in the business of making people into something that they are not naturally, intrinsically, or have maybe, maybe have no business being. So no, no, hold on, Tony. Tony, I don't mean to, I don't mean to cut you off, but I, I, because no, no. that's that's not entirely that's not entirely truthful. When you're an image consultant, you you're somebody who's bringing out the best in people. You know, if somebody, if mm-hmm. if I was an image consultant, you hired me to, you know, to to be your image consultant, just like a life coach, right? He takes an essay of you, and. From what he, from what he gleans from what he from what he learns from you, he takes that and he helps you bring out the best in you. So with him being an image consultant, he he's tasked with bringing out the best image to put your best foot forward. Cause, okay, but you know, you know, because you, if you ever see like so, some of his other videos that he puts out, not just the ones where he's talking to women about relationships, he has actually for. Because I've been following him for a little while, and I've no, I've seen videos where um, he's talking about you know different shoes that a man should have, suits, ties, colognes, you know, mm-hmm. basic basically basically things that that bring out the best in a man, and what the what the value of a man in a suit brings, and a clean cut man, you know how much power that has. 
So I don't I don't okay. so I don't agree you know with your you know with your definition of what an image consultant is. Image consultant is not like is not like somebody that's like a makeup artist that's going to put on two three pounds of makeup. You know what I'm saying to make you you know to make you look like what you're naturally not. But he's gonna but he's going to go in there and you know teach you how to how how to uh, put yourself together so that you have the best outcome. You understand? You you understand what I'm saying? I hear what you're saying. You're basically right, you're cool. basically having someone change your image because it's not natural to you. That's what I said, and I'm sticking by it. I don't care. If right, well, the best well, yeah. of, I don't care if it's the best version right. of you to put your foot out and sure clean cut versus and a man in a suit and what that can bring. I understand that, but if you were if you uh, are seeking an image cult, it's because you have a problem with your image. And some of those okay. men who are getting who are getting that advice are turning into these want to be high earning men. Um, All right, I'm, on, I'm with you on that. Having, now I'm with you. Who, who I'm with you on that. Being, you know, seeking the women that they're trying to seek, and I'm and you can flip it the other way. I don't think that those women should be doing that either. But my problem, I guess, my biggest problem with this is I go back to the credentials. I never gave him credentials for him to bother me, and I don't follow him. He's just popping up on my thing this week because a whole heap of stuff is going on about Kevin Samuels. So I find it interesting, right? I, I don't care if you want to speak truth to people. If you want to speak truth to people, speak truth to people. And if people want to follow you, power to you. Make your money. Okay. But, but there's also uh, this notion that only this type of person – looking this way will will attract the interest of a high earning gentleman and I consider that to be absolutely false. For whatever reason I, these women I, I agree though. You know what I mean? It's like it, I, I agree with everything that he's saying um as far as like only a certain type of women is gonna be you know saying, is gonna attract a high value man. I, I have to agree with it though. Because it's like if a dude if a dude would and I'm a I'm a kick it in layman's turn. Hey Mel, can you hear us now? Are you in? I guess she still can't hear it. But um, I'm going to say it like this. I'm going to give it to you in layman's terms. He's just trying to say, like, yo, if if you want something of a certain stature or if you want something and anything that's of a certain that, that's on the top shelf, then you got to be tall enough to reach it. That's all he's saying. So it's like, yo, yeah. So so it's like a, a, a woman, a woman who ain't got a woman who ain't got her shit together can't really expect a dude who got his shit together to want to deal with her. And they think the same Not way that all. a dude who ain't got his shit together shouldn't think that he should be smashing the chick who look good. So it, it, unless <laughs> unless he catching her on OnlyFans and anything, and she met him at a hotel to make a couple of more dollars and anything more, you know what I'm saying? Other than her his her, her subscribership, you know what right. I mean? But okay, that, so it's but like, a, right. yeah, but there's a name for that. <laughs> there's a name for that, and it, and it's not in it's not in the realm of what we're talking about. You know, they would call that tricking. Right. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so, tricky. Right. So, so how you speak to me, Ro, is is with respect. Why, why can we not have that conversation? Why can't it be a respectful conversation? I don't understand how people would have a discussion with him um, and tolerate the disrespect he throws. I know that. I mean, I, I, I do. I do <laughs> say. I do. I will say. Like at certain, at certain, some level, he do get a little ill with it, but. But and anything I'm saying, even within it and anything, if they, but you gotta understand when he get like that, I can see that it's because he can tell like the women and anything they really they not really there to get some information and anything so they can go in a positive direction and anything they really just did because they want their Instagram to pop or they really just there because yeah. they want to you know what I'm saying be like this yo I was on his show or whatever like that you know what I'm saying but if they just mm -hmm. took like you know what he was saying and say yo you know what this makes a lot of sense. I, maybe I need to pay attention to what he's saying right here and weed out a, little, a, a couple of things. Then, you know what I mean? Then it's like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they get something from it. All right. Maybe. So, so, with, so with that, Tony, let me ask you something. What, is, like, what specifically do you have an issue with? Like, is, is there anything that, is there anything that he said that you, that you think is wrong? I can't get to what he says. I don't follow him. I'm just telling you, he's popping up all over my, my stuff because other people are commenting on him. And with the clips that I've listened to, um, the way he speaks to people, I find, I find absolutely outrageous because he likes to throw in information or facts that he has, like he has a list, like a checklist.
by his computer of facts, right? They could be in his head, right. but whatever. Um, and they have nothing to do with the conversation. So, do you know what? about chess? Or, uh, you know, you don't need to, you know, you don't need the queen to win. No, but the queen is the most powerful one on the, on the board. All right, so if you're talking to someone who doesn't play chess, then they're going to be like, well, okay, I guess you don't need the queen to win. Like, okay, whatever. Well, what is, or well, what is, or name me what does chess have to do with relationships? But that's my point. He's, he's the one who does that. He throws out these things uh, that he says no. to these people who are listening. No, no, no. Go, well, I, the, clips, the two clips I listened to, that's what he did. He just threw out all these other stuff that had nothing to do with relationships or what he was talking about. So I'm like, Tony, what's I think, the analogy? I, this is no disrespect to you, Tony, but I think you need to do a little more research because there's a lot of things that he says that is verifiable. You know, there's actual facts that you can Google because when he talks about when he talks about the 43 percent of men that are that are ready for relationships, he's talking about a poll that was conducted by a certain agency or organization like NPR. You know, okay, that, so, that, that so, told so a certain number of people that, respect, you know what I'm saying? I'm not following him okay. for that. I don't care what information right. he has. I'm not talking to him for his. You're talking about <laughs> him being scary. So when I say that I, I've, listen, I've followed the clips that came in my feed this week, and of those okay. clips, if he wants to say his point, no problem. Like, one of the points we were listening to was on fairness. Men don't care about fairness. I don't disagree with that. But the other stuff he threw in there had nothing to do with relationships, and it had to do with how he was treating the woman, or in this case, person, who was arguing with him, right? So that's well, where I'm like, how am I supposed to follow him if I can't, I, I can't watch this to listen to anything mm-hmm. he might have to say that is useful? So well, that's, how was he treating the woman? No, I got, I got, I got to agree. Um, I got to agree. He do, he do come a little hard. He do, he do come a little hard. You know what I mean? He um, does. He, he does. But you know what? I gotta wonder. To... I, I, I gotta wonder sometimes in anything if like the women who call in if they like it though. I, I think they like it. I think they it's, have it's, it's yo yo bro. Did you notice that? It seems like they do because a lot of the times when when you know he's he's getting you know he's starting to cut you know real you know real easy with them. They it looks like they start like smirking and and smiling a little bit almost as if you know that's that was their goal was to yes. get cut what was their goal which is weird because hey because, is he, oh she's gone <laughs> oh, man. She got, like, <laughs> I think, she's I, I think I think this I think this weather is is kicking the service around something crazy that's true mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. cuz I really want to hear her input but let me ask you this, Tony. What's what's more important to you, the message or the messenger? Well, I can't get to the message if if the messenger is distracting me, right? Like the medium mm-hmm. is the message they said at one point. Okay. So I, I like I can't get to the message. Um, like I said, the the second one we were listening to, I, I, and of course I don't follow him, so I'm I am not the person talking about this. It's only uh-huh. because. He keeps blowing up on my, everybody is like, oh, look at this, look at this, look at this. So the two videos that I watched this in the last couple of days, the first one was him uh, speaking to three women and the three women, mm-hmm. of the three women that he was speaking to, only one woman was really speaking and her arguments mm-hmm. were ridiculous. They were dumb. But um, I, I wasn't really sure. We, we never, I never... Like, I turned around to the people I was talking to, and I'm like, what was the point? And, you know, our, our guy was like, uh, it was because of fairness, and, you know, men don't, really, don't, don't care about fairness. And I'm like, okay, but how did you even get to that message? Because I was too busy with the distracting points about, um, well, name five women who are inventors and men conquered the world and all this other stuff, which if we're going to go down that path, we can go down that path, but that has nothing to do with relationships. So why are we talking about that? And then he says to the woman, well, you're just, you, you see, all you're doing is distracting from the issue. No, you're distracting from the issue as well. <laughs> well, well, not, well, 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 not really. Well, not really, because one of his main points is, is uh, one, of the, one, of the, one, of the, uh, one of the catalysts of contention between men and women, you know, his synopsis, his, this, is, this is his synopsis, that, Women don't respect men. 
and what we've had and what we've done to the natural world to make it what it is. And, you know, and he just, say that and he say know, that wait 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 he say that he say that based on he say that based on women saying like yo they don't need men and anything so he's like but you do right but I'll you really do. Right. But then doesn't he also say doesn't he also say that men don't need women? But you really But do. he do say that. Because because no, really so at, at, so, no, no, because actually, man, actually, men can run the he, world. He a man yeah. men can run the world. Men can run the world and they think um you know what I'm saying with uh with, with uh without women. You know what I'm saying? They just we just can't reproduce. Mm-hmm. That's the only thing. Exactly. You know what I mean? But women but women can't do anything also also Including reproduce without man, you know what I mean? Because no, man I, built the world no. so that women but could he, get by in it. Yeah, but to but to break it down, but but to break it down in like in in like a, a very succinct axiom, it's men need women to reproduce. Women need men for security, and security is a large umbrella that kind of encompasses a lot of things, including you know uh, infrastructure. You know, um, uh, uh, avenues to make money, uh, food production, things like that. You know. So, we, uh, so, so, so hold like, up. Let me let me ask you Tony. Let me needs. let me yeah, let mm-hmm. me ask Tony this. And so, so Tony, Tony, when he says that, mm-hmm. when, I don't know if you ever got to the part where he say that um, the one thing that a high earning man or a high a high value man or any man want from the one thing that a man want from a woman or three things that a man want from a woman is, is sex silence and a sandwich do that bother <laughs> do that bother you um yeah that would bother me that would bother well, me I, I, com- I, com- I commented on somebody the other day about that that's hilarious oh. <laughs> and inaccurate Okay, so hey, let, let me go back. That, let me go back a little bit. Wait, no, 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 time out. No, we're gonna we we we're gonna <laughs> no, we just, hey, you know what?